Alright, so I decided to uh, make something usual, different than what I've been uploading on this channel lately. I just want to go over the visible naked eye planets that you can see without a telescope, just your bare eyes and uh, what they look like through my phone. So right now I'm looking at Mars, it just rose. Um, Mars is gearing up towards something we call opposition, that's the point when Earth is the closest to the planet that we're looking at, which is Mars right now. So. Uh, Every day it's getting brighter and brighter, and by the time opposition hits in mid-December, it's going to be bright, and then as the opposition passes, it fades away and gets less bright because uh, it's orbit, it's going towards the sun. But um, yeah, right now, I mean, if you have like a little basic Walmart telescope, I believe they sell like a 70 millimeter refractor, uh, you might be able to see some small detail. But you're gonna have to have perfect conditions like clean clear skies all of that but I mean <clears throat> with Mars it's a very it's about a third of the size of Earth so uh, I mean I had never had much luck with my little four inch reflector when I started I wasn't even able to pull detail from Mars until I had a uh, eight inch Dubsonian but I mean you could try but at the minimum I would suggest at least as a six inch reflector to see any detail and then moving over here, we got Jupiter. It is, you can't miss this planet. It is very bright. It's the next brightest object in the sky next to Venus and the moon. Um, even with a small Walmart telescope, you'd be able to see its four biggest moons. Um, if you want to see any detail on the planet Jupiter, it was just going a little higher. If you wanted to see like atmospheric effects on the planet, you know, the cloud, uh, cloud belts, the great red spot. Any of that, I, you know, me, you probably could see some of that stuff with a basic telescope if the skies were perfect that night. But, I mean, if you want to see anything, like, cool, like the moon shadow effects, I would suggest a six-inch Dubsonian. And then right here is the moon. I mean, you know, you could get a $50 telescope. You don't even need a telescope to, you know, have some good observing of the moon. You could get a $30, $40 pair of headphones, you know, um, binoculars and sea craters and all of that stuff. Um, and over here, I, there's no way I'd be able to see my phone. Um, Neptune and Uranus orbits right now. There, you could see them with a, uh, an eight-inch Dubsonian telescope, but they're right now the planets are both in between uh, Uranus and, I mean, um, between Mars and Jupiter. Yeah, so they're somewhere in here, but there's no way you're going to be able to see them with naked eye or telescope. I mean, they say it's theor theoretically possible to see Uranus with the naked eye, but. I've tried and never been able to see it. I've always had to use a telescope. And even with a telescope, there's just faint two blue dots. And then right over there, above the tree, you can barely see it. That's Saturn. Um, I've seen the rings on Saturn with a four inch reflector, which is pretty much you know standard what they would sell at Walmart or one of those um, big box stores. But I mean, it's night and day when you look at Saturn through a eight inch Dubsonian and you can see so much effects on the planet and um, you know like atmospheric effects a couple of its moons I mean with a basic cheap telescope though you, you could kind of make out the rings but there's no way of seeing like the Cassini division or anything they kind of just look like a blob attached to the planet through a small consumer grade telescope but, um, yeah, uh, if you guys are curious or anything about getting into the hobby or uh, information on what kind of telescope you should buy, just leave it in the comments. I'm happy to answer your questions. Um, but, yeah, uh, sorry if this video isn't what you expected. I know I'm mainly a gaming channel, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to upload a video to help anybody out. So, like I said, there's Mars. We got Jupiter right there, the moon, and then Saturn over there.